everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I have the new retro Transformers the movie Starscream. But I'm putting them up against the G1 Starscream. So this is a very nice box, which I will be opening and we're putting them up against the original. Though, to be fair, this has a rub sign, so you know it's at least the later version of. But in actuality, this is the Takara Starscream reissue that they came out, the very first one that they did way long ago. That also means his weapons shoot like a motherfucker. So I'm gonna bust this out of the box, put him up against the original, do some comparisons, and you let me know which one you like better, or if you like both. It's all good. Be right back. All right, so we are back, and let's get this guy out. Now, as I can already tell from looking at it, he's got holes in his fists, which the original does not. And from what I've seen, he's got drugs with him. Now this is plastic free packaging, except for tape apparently, because that doesn't count. And I do have to say, the artwork on the box is very nice. Oh, there's instructions, who needs those? If I can't transform this guy, I'm in trouble. One thing I will say though, while it's great for the environment, it's a bit of a pain in the butt to get these things off. So he is mistransformed in the box, I guess, in order to have him in there properly, you know, fit him in there. So let's get him into actual some mode and get his drugs open. So I'm kind of sad that they aren't using the really nice Transformers paper. I mean, I think it was Autobot, but they I'm sure they could make Decepticon purple tissue paper to wrap this stuff in. And as I had heard, he comes with Megatron. Woohoo! There he is, Megatron in gun mode. Which is why this is not a coronation one, because that would not work out well in the timeline. Now, as I recall, there was a version of this, a reissue, very similar, that actually came with a Megatron gun, came with holes in his fists, or actually this, yeah, holes in his fists and little posts on the bottom. So this is not the first time this jet has been displayed this way. Now, I'm gonna put his missiles in, because he's in jet mode, and we'll just put him right there. We'll start out with the jet mode. And right next to him, we'll put the G1 reissue. Now, I remember in the instructions, it says, take the wings off, take everything off, and then reassemble it. That never made sense to me. So I'm like everybody, I turn the wings and sometimes I even make the noise. All right, so as you can see in the close-up cam, you have the two jets next to each other. This being the reissue, this being the new one. Let's go through the differences right away. So, nose cones. This one is blue, rubber tip. This feels rubbery as well, but is gray, which is interesting. I think that's a little more accurate to the show. Decepticon sticker. No Decepticon sticker or painted symbol. Sticker, sticker, no sticker, no sticker. So, rub sign, no rub sign. So, they decided to abstain from the stickers. And I just double checked the box. Has no stickers, shows no stickers, sheet or anything like that. I'm sure Toy Hacks and some other places will have repro stickers for you to put on there. All right, otherwise, you can already tell this is a little bit brighter of a red, though it's kind of hidden. Now the wings, we have stickers here and it looks like they put some kind of stickers here that don't quite match these and some kind of application. Could be a sticker, could be some kind of imprint and they put the Decepticon symbols on for you. I've always liked having the Decepticon symbols facing, you know, with their chin going towards the front because when he transforms, they're right side up and all that stuff. Here they put him the other way, which I guess is proper for planes, but when he transforms, you know, they're gonna be upside down. Tail fins, stickers, no stickers. These are a much more aqua blue, lighter blue. This is much more of a navy. Tail fins seem to be the same. Jet nozzles, these are blue, these are black, which is interesting. So black ones on the new one and blue ones on the original. And let's address the elephant in the room. These missiles are fucking ridiculous. Oh my God, look at these things. But that's what they need to do in order for toy regulations. These are the original missiles that come with it. Two little missiles that would probably cause major choking issues. This also appears to be black here. This appears to be more gray. So again, coloration. Let's take a look at the bottom. Again, you can see the cones. What's interesting is I can already see the faces and we'll go over that when it's in robot mode. I do like what they've done with the face. But you can see the uh, landing gear is similar. And this looks a little more gray. This looks more black. It's very close. Stickers, 
all over the underside of the original, none on the new one. Ridiculous missiles on this one. And you can see even the lighter blue applies to the feet, the inside of the arms as you can see them here, the triggers, and oddly not the rim around the edge. These are clear white and these are blue. So definitely some differences, but they are both jets. They can both fly around. And if I press the launcher here, it actually springs out. Wait a minute. That's not too bad. I guess because it's, you know, the size of a Q-tip, they figured it okay to leave some spring in there. But again, there was a, I wish I still had it, but I got rid of it years ago, but there was a version of Starscream that was more of an anime, and I don't recall the nose cone. I do remember it was lighter blue. It also came with a Megatron and the holes in the fist and all that. So it's not the first time we've seen something along these lines. This may be slightly different, especially as I can see from the face. Now, this is a dark gray cockpit. This is an orange cockpit. I didn't point that out. And this actually has lines, which is interesting, similar to what was in the actual show, I believe. I don't remember that clearly. And this does not have lines. Now, both canopies open. Now the real test, if we take this, can we put it, and it appears we can put it in the cockpit. So that's what we used to do, or at least people I know used to do, is we used to take the landing gear and put it in the canopy so you didn't lose it, because otherwise you'd lose it. So they both can fit in there. Let's get them both into robot mode and do a comparison. <laughs> now with the G1, you have to switch out the missiles for the guns. You have to do the same thing apparently for the retro one, which I'm not surprised. I don't think I'm gonna mix up the missiles. So there they are side by side. We'll talk about Meg soon. But again, you can see there are differences in coloration, the blues the blues of the fists, and just like, you know, the G1, you put the fists aside. When he's in his vehicle mode, there's no storage for those. But the main difference, and I gotta talk about this first, is the face. This is the original face. This one, I really like what they've done with the paint apps. A little bit of remolding, adding the paint to the sides, and it really looks a lot like Starstream. That's a great upgrade to the face. I really am liking that. So of all the things I could have done, this actually, to me, makes it worth getting yet another Starscream reissue. And honestly, I didn't notice it in the picture when I ordered it, but you know, now that I can see it, yeah, it's really nice. The guns, obviously the G1s are a little more understated. These are ridiculous looking, but pretty much the size of like the reissues that you would get at Toys R Us years ago. If you ever get one of those, they have the really elongated, larger, less chokeable guns as opposed to the original. Posability is exactly the same. And the spring's actually kind of annoying. He can move his arms up, he can move them out to the side a bit. He can even move them so that he's firing in two directions or, you know, he's really liking Ghost and pretending to be Mary on a cross. You know, so the guns are on a bit of a hair trigger, which is a little bit annoying. But otherwise, it's a really good version of the original toy. There's a little bit of paint apps inside or different colors inside the holes in his fists. The posts on the bottom are just there. So this is very similar to the one that was put out years ago, but I really like the face, really do. The lack of stickers kind of leaves him hanging out with some of his, you know, junk exposed. Woo! But still overall, I really like this new version. Let's put Megatron into his hand. At this range, I never miss. Except you did in that episode. All right, so it was easy enough to get the top part in. It's a little stiff to get the handle to attach underneath. It does, it looks a little awkward to be honest. You could obviously put in the top part into his fists and not bother with the bottom if you didn't want to. But there he is with the Megatron gun. Posability again, the arms. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah, again, similar to the one that they put out before, but some great enhancements. No stickers, but again, toy hacks and other places I'm sure have it. I'm sure they've already sped a set out to Patriot Prime and he's probably already done a video with stickers. I'm probably just gonna leave the stickers off because I have enough with stickers. Obviously, the old Starscream cannot hold Megatron. Maybe someone out there is gonna make some new fists in the original colors for those who still have the original Starscream. But overall, they're great, both great figures. 
This has the more classic weapon sizes. These have ridiculous weapon sizes, but the new fists and the Megatron, the really nice face, the darker colors, the lighter colors. There's a lot of pros and cons to each of them. So do me a favor, let me know in the comments which one you like better, which version of the Decepticon Air Commander Starscream you prefer. I can tell you which missiles I prefer. And while you're debating that, and of course I'll put a link in the description to this particular piece. On, it's a Walmart exclusive. Hopefully you can get it through walmart.com. I'll put some other links too. And of course, if you want to get a G1 or a G1 reissue, there's ways to do that. If you want the smaller weapons, you need to get the Japanese original Takara reissues and not anything that came into the US. If you don't care about the bigger weapons or if you have kids you're worried about choking, then you know, I'm not saying you want to choke them. Well, probably sometimes. Anyways, while you're debating on that, check out this video over here, which is talking about the masterpiece version of Starscream that uh, didn't go so well. And of course, we love your comments, share, like. We hope you're enjoying these videos. We will see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.